down because the highest judicial body in the world said it's illegal. Why are they knocking it down? Because we're doing what the ICJ said. They said the wall had to be dismantled. The international community has been delinquent in its legal responsibility to demolish that wall. They won't do it, then we have to do it. It's a citizen's arrest, so to speak. Well, I'm not naive. Yes, Israel will probably kill 100 of the demonstrators, 200 of the demonstrators, 300 of the demonstrators. Killing the Palestinians is their default setting. But, but, long before they reach 5,000, long before they reach 5,000, it seems to me if we do our job here and publicize the fact that the Palestinians are only doing what their legal responsibility or right entitles them to do, then I think long before we reach 5,000, Israel will have to stop. Now, I enter again one crucial caveat. I'm speaking or writing from the comfort of my home and the safety of my home in New York, and now the comfort and safety of beautiful Masters University in the city. And I would be the last one on God's earth to tell other people to die for any cause. I am not a hero. I cannot go marching into the valley of death smilingly and cheerfully. I am quite sure I would be going in the other direction, even if a gun were put to my head. However, the Palestinians have already shown a willingness to die, a willingness to give their lives for their human dignity, their self-respect, and, and an end to what seems to be an interminable torment. If they've already made the decision, which I frankly, in fact, emphatically admit, I don't have it in me to do, if they make that decision, I say, why not say what Gandhi says? Nonviolence can accomplish what violence can accomplish, but with much less human suffering. Much less if we do our job here. If we don't do our job here, then in the darkness and the shadows, they'll be slaughtered. I have no doubt about that. There are many other things I wanted to say, but time is pressing, and we have to hear from one other person, and then to um, hear uh, and then hear from you. I'll just make a couple of other points. Number one, for this strategy to work, for this strategy to work, the public has to see the goals of the Palestinians as being legitimate. And I told you, or I tried to relate to you, what is the current international consensus of what's a legitimate, legal, moral settlement of the conflict. That means there is no consensus for dismantling the Zionist entity. There is no consensus for a one-state settlement, leaving aside the moral issues involved and sticking strictly to the practical issues. If you start demanding not an end to the occupation of the West Bank, Gaza, and East Jerusalem, and a just resolution of the refugee question, and you start making these demands for one state in Palestine, or dismantling the Zionist entity, as it's sometimes called, well, leaving aside the moral issues and sticking strictly to the practical ones, the, st the Gandhi st uh, strategy has no possibility of success because there is no consensus in enlightened public opinion, there is no consensus in representative public opinion for a one-state settlement or for the dismantling of the state of Israel. And without that consensus, as I put is earlier, the legitimacy or the innocence of means, but there has to also be 
an innocence of ends. The goals of the Palestinians have to be seen as legitimate, and this one state talk or dismantling the Zionist entity, it has exactly zero legitimacy in the international community. Let me then end by going back to Mr. Gandhi. Gandhi liked to translate the word satyagraha, S-A-T-Y-A-G-R-A-H-A. -A. It makes for a nice t-shirt. He translated as hold on to the truth. And I like that image. Hold on to the truth. And that's our challenge to hold on to the truth that what Israel has done to the Palestinians is wrong. To hold on to the truth that Israel's refusal, backed by the United States, to respect international law and the considered opinion of humankind is the sole obstacle to putting an end to their suffering. We can win, we can win, if we hold on to the truth, and if, to quote the African-American spirit,